In five minutes, I'm going to show you how to make a quick 2D top-down FPS game. I have a brand new 2D Unity project here, and I'm going to right-click in the hierarchy and go to 2D sprites and make a circle. We'll call this player. I'll give it the player tag. We're going to throw on a circle collider 2D, a rigid body 2D. We'll set the gravity scale to zero, and I'll create a new C# -sharp script and call this player controller. I'd attach it to the player, then right-clicking on my player in the hierarchy, I'll go to 2G object and go to square, and I'll drag that a little bit up above my player. I'll make the color gray, and then I'll say 0.2 in the X and 0.5 in the Y, and just kind of position it above the player. We'll call this weapon. I'll create a new C-sharp script called weapon, and then I'll attach that script to the weapon game object, and then I'll right-click on weapon again and go to create empty and call it fire point. And then I'll try and position the fire point right at the end of the weapon. Then I'll just right click in my hierarchy, not on my player or anything, and go to 2D objects and make a circle. And I'll call this bullet. I'll give it a circle collider 2D, a rigid body 2D. Again, I'll set the gravity scale to zero because this is a top down game. And I'll change the color to something like yellow. Then we can just shrink this down to like 0.2 in the X and 0.2 in the Y. And once again, I'll make another script called bullet and attach that to the bullet game object. I'm now going to open the player controller script and we're gonna go quickly through this. At the top of the player controller, we wanna make some variables. Make a public float move speed and I'll default that to five. Make a public rigid body 2D called RB. Make a public weapon. And then we need a private vector to move direction and a private vector to mouse position. So five variables, getting rid of start, in update, we want to process inputs, so I'll say float move x equals input dot get axis raw horizontal. Then we want to do the same for move y, except get axis raw vertical. We want to see if we're clicking our mouse button, so I'll say if input dot get mouse button down, zero for the left mouse. Well, then we want to tell our weapon to fire, which we'll complain until we implement that in a minute. And then using move X and move Y, we want to say move direction is equal to a new vector two, move X, move Y. And at the end of that, we want to say dot normalized. After that, we want our mouse position. We'll set that equal to camera dot main dot screen to world point and pass in our input dot mouse position. Pass in a camera if you don't want to use camera dot main. That's going to be it for our update. Now let's make a fixed update method so we can handle some physics calculations and we'll say rb dot velocity is equal to a new vector two of move direction dot x times move speed. That's for the x and then in the y move direction dot y times move speed. That's how we'll move the player. And then we'll say vector two aim direction equal to mouse position minus RB dot position. We then wanna get our aim angle. So we'll make that a float and say float aim angle is equal to math F, which is a library dot a tan two. We wanna pass in aim direction dot Y and then aim direction dot X. We then wanna multiply that by math F dot radians to degrees minus 90 F, which is a crazy math thing, but this is going to turn our player. We'll say RB dot that rotation is equal to aim angle. So we're setting the velocity, which will move our player around, and then we're calculating our angle based on our mouse position so that we can rotate the player with the mouse. Let's then open our weapon script. So we need a reference to a public game object, which is gonna be our bullet prefab. We need a reference to our public transform fire point. So we know where to spawn the bullet. And then we need a public float fire force to shoot the bullet. And I'm gonna default that to 20. And then we just need a public void fire method where we create a new bullet. So we'll say game object bullet is equal to instantiate bullet prefab at the fire point position and the fire point rotation. And then we wanna get the bullet dot get component rigid body 2D that's on the bullet. So we can add a force of the fire point dot up times the fire force and the force mode is going to be force mode 2d dot impulse so that's how we're going to shoot a bullet last but not least our bullet we can get rid of everything and just say void on collision enter 2d and just say destroy game object for now but this is where you check to see if you're hitting an enemy as well so back in the editor i'm going to click and drag on this bullet game object and drag it into our assets folder to make a prefab i'll then delete it from the scene clicking on our weapon i'll drag in the bullet prefab i'll drag in the fire point to the variable the fire force of 20 is fine going to our player we'll drag in our rigid body and we'll drag in our weapon. I can then just make a square in my scene and give it a box collider 2D. So now when we play the game, we can move around with WASD or the arrow keys. We can rotate our player with the mouse and when we click, the player will shoot a bullet and if the bullet hits this wall or any collider, it will destroy. Thanks for watching.